Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet with Strange RV Tours. And today we're on kind of a quest. Because there's a theory that when Lee Harvey Oswald killed J.D. Tippett, that he was heading in the wrong direction in order for him to go to the Texas Theater. He was out of his way. He shouldn't have been at 10th and Patton if he was going to the Texas Theater. But there's two locations where 10th and Patton where Tippett was shot there's two locations that are on a direct route to where Oswald may have been going so we're going to show you those two locations today and tell you about them we're at 223 South Ewing in Oak Cliff or Dallas and we're at the City Inn Suites this home or this apartment complex was where Jack Ruby was living you can see this place here on the ground looks like a big patio area that used to be a swimming pool and Jack Ruby would swim in that swimming pool every morning now I'm assuming this is the original location I don't know if it's been changed but it looks like it's old enough that it was probably the same apartment complex that would have been here when Jack Ruby was staying here now this location if you left North Beckley or Oswald's rooming house and headed this direction you could have easily passed by 10th and Patton which is where Tippett was killed so this may have been where Oswald was heading when he ran into Tippett or when he was pulled over by JD Tippett now there's also there's witnesses that say that they saw Lee Harvey Oswald and Clay Shaw both at the Carousel Club, which was owned by Jack Ruby, and there's other evidence that Jack Ruby and Lee, Ho uh, Lee Harvey Oswald knew each other. So he may have been heading here to this location and ran into JT Tippett along the way. But if he, if his final destination was going to be the Texas Theater, Tenth and Patton would not have been the direct route it would have been really out of his way so it doesn't make sense that he would have taken that route if he was going to the Texas theater of course once he shot JD Tippett if he was the person that shot JD Tippett at that point he was probably panicked and just trying to get away any way that he could or it may have been that he didn't want to involve Jack Ruby. So this may have been where he was heading. Jack Ruby lived on the second story of the apartment complex. I'm not sure what the number of the, of the room was though, or the apartment. But yeah, Jack Ruby used to swim right here where this uh, patio is every morning. And we're going to head to another location that is about 20 blocks from North Beckley. We're at 3126 Harlandale, about 20 blocks away from North Beckley, or the rooming house that Oswald was staying at. Deputy Buddy Walters had received a phone call from his mother who lived next door to this home. She said that Cubans had moved in a few months before and she said she had seen someone looking like Oswald go inside the home. Now Deputy Buddy Walters wrote a report about this home on 11-23-1963, one day after the assassination of President Kennedy. He advised Sorrells, the head of the Secret Service, that some Cubans had been having meetings here on the weekends and were possibly part of the Freedom for Cuba party. Oswald was also a member of that party. A day after the assassination, the Cubans had moved from this home. This home right here is the one that we're talking about. When Oswald left his rooming house and made his way to 10th and Patton, he was heading in the direction of this home. And Mr. Walther's mother was concerned because they were having these late night meetings and they were getting a little noisy, I guess. 
So this could have been the location that Oswald was heading to. And then of course after the assassination or after the, um, the murder of Tippett, if Oswald was panicked, which it looks like he was, because people said he was darting in and out of doorways of businesses on Jefferson while heading to the Texas Theater, he may have been panicked and just trying to get away at that point. And he may not have wanted, have wanted to involve the Cubans who were part of a party that he was belonging to. So, anyhow, that's two locations where Lee Harvey Oswald may have been going to, because it really doesn't make sense that he went to 10th and Patton and then went in a complete opposite direction to go to the Texas Theater. Now, if you decide you want to come out and see either of these two locations, keep in mind that this is not a good part of town. That's the reason we stayed in our car while filming this home. And Jack Ruby's apartment complex is not a good part of town either. Um, a lot of um, homeless people on the on the streets, and uh, it's just it's a decaying part of Dallas. Time has not been good to this area. So, anyhow. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the little bell in the corner, and until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fit your RV too Come along, won't you join us, friend? As we discover what's around the bend. Just sit right back in your easy chair. Strange RV Tours is on the air. Strange RV Tours is on the air.